do we make Austin better? Incredible support. See what a beautiful community it is. We all need as much help as we can get. We keep it local. It's wine glass. Isn't it so perfect? Pretty good. This place is huge. He's working hard back there. This is wild. Every week on KVU, we're featuring the businesses and people that make this place special. All scratch and made love. Texas home cooking. If you miss our story. Oh, man. No sweat. You can see the places we featured on KVU.com. We're here to serve you. We're still here. People want to keep us around. They're really grateful for that. Be sure to support local business and check out Keep Austin Local on KVU. Hi there. Welcome to our Keep Austin Local special. You know, for a little more than a year, we have been highlighting local businesses to encourage our community and our viewers to support local. Local is what makes Austin special, and it's what keeps Austin weird. So when you're out and about, when you're deciding where to eat or where to shop, we encourage you to do so locally. And if you need some places, don't worry, we've got you covered. That's what this special is for. So first, we're going to start off in the north with some places that you can spend your money at. Well, we are keeping Austin local. We're helping you do your holiday shopping. And today we are at a wonderful place. We're at Terra Toys. Joining me to talk about it is Sylvia Edwards. Thank you so much for having us out here. <laughs> Thank you for being, including our store. I, well, it's an amazing store and we are very happy to be here. So first, let's talk about the pandemic. It has affected all businesses, big and especially small. So tell us, how has it affected you all? Yeah, I mean, I don't think that our situation is unique to any other store, but, you know, of course it hit our staffing abilities. You know, we lost a lot of staff due to self-quarantine. And of course, um, you know, when the city shut down, we kind of had to find out if we were essential or not. So we got that stamp of approval from the city um, because we offer really wonderful learning resources for younger children. And um, it's been it's been a wild ride, you know. It helped yeah. us uh, make a website, which we're very proud of, yeah. and I think it really brought our staff together and immersed us in our own environment. So we know the toys that much better now. And I do I want to say I feel I felt very safe coming in here because you all have limited capacity. Everyone has masks. We were offered hand sanitizer, right. um, so you all have done a, a, a very good job. So let's Thank show you. off some of the things that you yeah. that you all have. You talked about kids being able to learn. Mm -hmm. One thing that they can do is let's start with this one or this one? Let's start with the Isada Discovery Card. This okay. is one of my personal favorite toys in the whole wide world. Um, each of these little parts of the engine come off of the car and they demonstrate in, in real you know, ways how a three cylinder engine functions, you know, how they move up and down. Wow. And then how a, a ratio gearbox works and a differential gear. And so you're actually able to uh, participate and learn the functions of a general motor in a car. And then once it's all together, you have a moving fun little car. It's for ages three and up. It's made in Italy, which I love. And, and they don't know that they're learning. <laughs> yeah, right? That's it's, always it fun. It is so cool. OK, um, what is this? This is the free play magnet tab. It comes with a little magnetic pen that pulls up these tiny magnetic beads that stay in in the mechanism uh -huh. so that you can make really cool designs or draw cool pictures. And then when you lay the pen flat, there's such that satisfying feeling of being able I'll to clear erase it all. what you've drawn. It's awesome. I love it. Okay, and then what's the last thing? The roll again tower. This is one of my favorite baby toys. Yeah. It's, um, you know, babies really learn from repetition. And so what this, you lift this ball and what it does is it triggers all of the other balls to release and then you drop this into the tower. And you, you just, just do, do it, it forever. Over and over. Oh my and goodness. Okay, so, so where can people find you if they want to come shop and support local? We are located on 2438 West Anderson Lane. This is the only Territories in the whole wide world. And we also have a beautiful website called Territories.shop. Awesome. Sylvia, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Please come check this store out and don't <laughs> forget to support local. Well, we are keeping Austin local. Take a look at this. Right now we are at Austin Kung Fu. Joining me to talk about their history and some of the things they offer, one of the owners, Cheryl, is with me. Thank you so much for having us out here. Oh, thank you for coming, Brittany. Welcome to Austin Kung Fu and Tai Chi. I love <laughs> it. So um, tell us a little bit about how the pandemic affected your business. I imagine it kind of had a big impact. It was a little scary, yeah, but as soon as Austin started shutting down, so did we. We closed our school, we went online right away. So we've had online classes all this time. We'll continue to have those until it's safe to do otherwise, and we'll probably always have an online element. Yeah. And then we've just this week opened our facility back up and started having people in site, small classes, masks, socially distanced. Yeah, everybody's all distanced out. So tell us about your history. Um, well, Joe and I own the school. We've been married since 1985. I started training in 87. He started training in 85. Okay. And uh, so we've been doing this for years. We came here to Austin for grad school, okay. 
finish that, but this is what we wanted to do. We felt like we could impact more lives by doing Kung Fu and Tai Chi with people. So we've been doing that ever since. Yeah, so like you said, there are small in-person class, and right now they're doing Tai Chi. They're doing I tai feel chi. like I should whisper. Should I be whispering? It does feel that way, doesn't it? Yes, it really does. It feels very peaceful. But then if you look this way, there are people that are joining us online as well. So you all have set up a camera? Yes, we, well, actually, the, the gentleman teaching this is teaching from his home, Master Ben Bender in that top left square. And uh, that's what our teachers have done as well. They've been helping us from their homes, their garages, their living rooms. We teach from our homes sometimes too. Yeah. We've got cameras and monitors set up. Everybody learns from their laptop, their computer. Some have big monitors. Some people learn from their phone or their tablet, and that yeah. just amazes me. So can we turn and I can try a thing? Absolutely. Okay. So this is rising posture. Okay. And can all levels, all Anybody ages Anybody can do this? do this. We have classes uh, for Tai Chi all the way through our seniors. If people 85, 86 take this class oh and older. And what does this do for you emotionally and mentally? Emotionally and mentally, it balances you. It gives you more energy, helps you feel recharged and renewed. Physically, okay. especially for our seniors, it makes you uh, really strong from the hips down and it gives you really good balance. I'm really messing up here. I got the wrong oh, hands no, up. Fine. I got the feet going. You're exactly right. Just put on. your right hand on top. So tell everybody where you're located so they can come find you and try this out because I feel like people really need this right now. Well, the best way to remember us is Austin Kung Fu dot com. Okay. So go to www.austinkungfu.com to find out all the information. Our location is 8910 Research Boulevard. Awesome. Thank you so much for this. I'm going to jump back Brittany. in, but please don't forget to support local. Next, we'll take you to some great places that you can find in the East. Well, we are keeping Austin local, highlighting local businesses that you can support now and forever. And today we're at a place called Boggy Creek Farm. Joining me to talk about it is the owner, Carol Ann. Thank you so much for having us out here. Well, thank you, it's a pleasure. So where are we standing right now? Well, we are in the hot house. And it <laughs> and, is hot, it really. But this is where all the germination takes place. Okay. For something that needs to be pla pl planted out as a little seedling. Okay. Uh, we do grow things straight in the with seed in the dirt, but this is where we, it's a nursery. It's a greenhouse. This is and, where the babies um, are. This is the babies. We have a little thermometer so to see how much they're suffering. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and and, and then we, what do you have right there? Well, these are the, the, the most favorite of all the um, kales. It's the dinosaur kale. Okay. And it looks like a, uh, one of these didn't make it, but, you know, there's lots of them here. Yes. And uh, they will stay here for probably another week or two. And then where do they go? And then they will go out. There in well the then let's weather. go out there too. Okay. Yeah, it's hot in here. I will say that much, but that's good for them. <laughs> okay, and who do we have right here? This let's is just, Buddy. This is Buddy. This is Buddy. He's the farm dog. And he's a good dog too. Yes. Come on, Buddy. Let's go. Come on, Buddy. There okay, you so go. we'll we'll come out here. Let's go, baby. Come on. And this is so beautiful out here. Oh, but tell us about some of the the plants that you have out here. Well, We're this, looking. You have some peppers. Yeah. This is a pepper area. Okay. And we got lots of different varieties. Most of all of them are are not hot, because in okay. the in the all the time when you've every, everybody's talking about peppers, they think they're going to be hot. So people are afraid right. that they're going to be hot. And there even the people that like hot, they might might get one little tiny jalapeno. Well, you can't make a farm run on somebody <laughs> buying one little, you know. No, you can't. So now the chefs will do more than that, of course. Thank goodness, best. Yeah. But these are just different, uh, different ones that we grow. This is the Marconi. It's an Italian pepper, and, and early on in, in, in its life, it will be three times that big. Oh, really? And here's here's here it is getting to be red. And they're just wonderful. They're so just, they go from green to red. Yes. I don't know much about peppers. Well, uh, red means they're ready to be harvested. Red ready. Definitely. But I you can harvest it. them this way too, and you can put them on your so stove and, and you know get them all blistered and then scrape that off, and it's just wonderful. <laughs> so will you tell everybody where they can find you so they can come check you out, the peppers out, and all of the other great things? We're that in you East have? Austin, East Austin, and <laughs> we're at 34, 34, 14 Lions Road, and we're open in August for two two markets mm -hmm. um, Wednesday and Saturday. Saturday and then after that in September we'll start back four markets okay and it's eight to one all right thank you so much please Certainly. don't forget to support local I appreciate this this is so great thank no, you you bet and this place is wonderful just like coming in because everything is colorful it's so organized it's beautiful especially if you're a paper lover so tell me a little bit about you all 
Yeah, so we're a paper stationery retail store, and we also host in-person workshops and classes. All of that's currently on pause, yes. but a um, big perk of it is our entire store is also online now. Yeah, so that's something that you all just started, I mean, in the last year and a half? Yeah. So you didn't do that before. So people can order stuff. You also, you said you, sh you ship weekly, right? Yes. Or people can come here and pick that stuff up. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about some of the things that you have. Yes. First, I want to talk about this wall right here. You have a wall full of great stickers. So tell us about some of the things that you have there. So we've got lots of stickers and washi tape and a lot of stationery from Japan and stationery that I grew up using growing up in Asia. Okay. And it was really special to be able to find it and bring it into our store for our community. Yeah, and then obviously there's paper in the name, but there's more than that. I, there's candles right here behind me, so it's not just paper, there's some goods as well. Right, so with um, kind of the expansion of our store, we wanted to incorporate kind of more of like a home desk office section where it makes sense. You have a beautiful notebook and you can also have a really nice smelling candle and all of our candles are poured here in Austin too. Oh really? Yeah. That's very cool. Okay, let's work this way. Uh, one thing that I want to point out, because this is pretty special, you have Archer and Olive, which is for bullet journaling. Will yes. you explain kind of what that is? So bullet journaling, the pages are going to be dot grid and that is meant to be kind of a guide for you to make all kinds of template. If, if you just Google what bullet journaling is, it's like a rabbit hole of some of the wild, amazing things people can do with it. Yes. And this particular notebook is one of, I think, the best for bullet journaling because the pages are super, super thick. You can feel it. So you can use paint on it. Yes. Or it markers and mm -hmm. it doesn't bleed through. Exactly. That's pretty special. Yeah. Okay, and then if we work this way, you also have calendars. And what's on this side? So all of our notepads and kind of special notebooks are going to be on those shelves. So if somebody's trying to learn how to be more organized, this might be a great place for them. This is the place, and I feel like it's one of our favorite things is actually when someone tells us they're interested in doing, like, getting more organized, and we yeah. can actually direct them to the best product and even, like, suggest things that they might not have thought of yet. Yeah, that's very cool. So if somebody wants to maybe pick up a new hobby, right. this could be it. Okay, and then let's work our way back here because there is a huge wall of cards. Will you right. talk about this wall? They're from all over the place, including you make some of these, right? Yes. So okay. our cards are from independent stationery designers, artists from all over the country and all over the world. And I feel like when you walk in our store, you cannot miss that we are a stationery paper store because of this amazing card wall full of all of these cards. So tell everybody where you're at so that people can find you. So we're located at 1023 Springdale Road, 6A, and we are also available online at thepapercraftpantry.com. Up next, we'll shine a spotlight on some places you can find in the South. Well, we are keeping Austin local, highlighting local businesses that could use your support now and forever. And today we are in South Austin at a place called Aaron's Rock and Roll. Joining me is the owner, Gary. Thanks for having us out here. Yeah, for sure. So first things first, tell us about how COVID has impacted Aaron's Rock and Roll. It has been really rough. Um, we opened this location with the intention of it being a second location and then everything kind of fell apart. Um, if it wasn't for the kindness of my landlords downtown, we would definitely not be in business anymore. They helped out a huge, huge amount. That's great to hear. Mm -hmm. um, love hearing those stories. Um, I feel like that's very Austin. We want to mm -hmm. support as much as we can, which is one reason why we're doing this segment. So tell us a little bit about you all. You've been around since the 60s. We've been in Austin since the 60s. We started out on South Congress, and in the mid-80s, we moved to the location on 6th Street that we are still in. Okay. Um, yeah, we've and it's then awesome now, region. so it was February of 2020 that you all moved to this location? That's when we signed the lease, yeah. And then one month later is when everything is shut down. when the world stopped. Mm. Okay, so let's show off some of the amazing things that you have. Because okay, if you're a store that's been around since the 60s, that means you're a pretty great store. The first thing I want to point out is that you all have VHS, which is really cool. So is this something that people are coming in, they're like, oh, i got to get my VHS? Yeah, we've been, there's a big trend now going on with people collecting VHS, and we've been doing pretty well with it. We buy stuff all the time off of people. Um, we focus on horror, but we'll buy, you know, anything that's cool and fits with our aesthetic. It is, and so describe your aesthetic a little bit. We focus on rock music specifically, but mostly punk and metal. Okay. Um, and then we do a lot of movie stuff as well, and we focus on horror stuff with the movie stuff, but like I said, it's all kinds of stuff that we like to carry. And one large section is that you all have like t-shirts. So 
You tons have of tees. women's shirts mm -hmm. and kids' shirts, and oh. yeah, tell us a little bit about your t-shirt collection. Uh, we have a great selection, I think. Yeah. Um, I don't think you'd find a lot of the stuff in one place anywhere else. Um, we do try to make sure we carry lots of kids and women's stuff because we want people to be able to find stuff that they want. Yeah, definitely. Um, and of course, like just tons of rock and movie t-shirts. And you all have like little knickknacks mm -hmm. and things that would make great gifts and like Oh, this place is just, I mean, there's so much, and I imagine that people would spend a long time in here. So tell everybody where you're located so that they can come find you, spend time, and just look at everything that you have. Sure. We're at 3005 South Lamar. Um, it's in the same shopping center as Torchy's, Kirby Lane, Tribe Comics, Uptown Cheapskate. Awesome. Okay, well, there you have it. Please don't forget to support local. You can visit awesome places just like this. Joining me, we have Margaret and Julio, owner and manager. Thank you so much for having us out here. Uh, the whole reason we're doing this segment is because we want to keep these local businesses around. And the reason that we're losing them is because of the pandemic. So first things first, how has the pandemic affected you all in Peter Pan Mini Golf? Sure, thank you. And thank you, Brittany. Welcome to Peter Pan Mini Golf. Well, it's like most businesses, we, we were closed for six weeks when the government said we had to. And uh, when we reopened, we were very aware of having sanitizer, wipes, uh, a contactless experience. Quick story, we were cash only for 72 years. Wow. And we had to convert to credit card and electronic transactions almost overnight. But uh, we're, we're doing well, we're a little down, but it's all good. We You're have every here. confidence we'll recover. Yeah, and so, Margaret, this has been in your family since you opened in 1948? 1948. It didn't look exactly like it does today, but it was opened by three brothers. My father and his two brothers opened it in 1948. Oh my gosh, so tell us a little bit about Peter Pan Mini Golf and what people can expect here. First off, this place is magical. <laughs> it is magical. <laughs> it's the happiest place in Austin. Uh, yes, my dad actually was the original sculptor of all the figures. Oh, wow. He uh, did it as a side business. They actually owned another business for their main business, but this was on the side and the, uh, all the original sculptures were sculpted by my okay, dad in the 60s. your dad made this Peter He Pan? absolutely did. He absolutely did. Oh my and goodness. the um, Yes, he made that. That was actually uh, modeled off the Jolly Green Giant uh, okay. from the green bean can. Uh, so yeah, he would just get an inspiration and but he so carved that. So is this hole that. one? Yes. This, this is, is hole number one. one on the west side. Okay, should we should we try? Go ahead, no, Brittany, you're first. How are your mini golf skills? My mine mini are golf great. skills are no better than any <laughs> other person. Okay, all right. Here we go. Everybody ready? Oh, good shot, it, Brett. It's gonna be a hole in no. It's gonna be not a hole in one. <laughs> oh man, so close. So when you were a little girl, do you remember him building this, Peter Pan? Yes, I actually do. He built this one. He had to build right here on site. He built the T-Rex off site, and it had to be brought in. But yes, he. I remember clearly. He would make a small. Um, he would make a small model sculpture and then scale it up. Oh, wow. So, okay, so you said he built that T-Rex It was too. a hobby for him. And that, that T-Rex is, is huge. So, I mean, you can't miss it if you're driving by, but tell us where you're located. <laughs> We're uh, 1207 Barton Springs Road, right down the street from Zilker Park. This so. is so much fun. I'm excited. We'll be back with them in the 5 p.m. and 6 p.m. We're also going to be doing a Facebook Live if you want to watch uh, how good we are at this at this mini golf. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. For now, we're going to send things back to you all in the studio. Thank you, Brittany. <laughs> and finally, here's some places to support local in the West. We are keeping Austin local, highlighting local businesses that you should support now and forever. And today we're at a place called Helios Fused Glass Studio. Joining me to talk about it is the co-owner, Christine. Thanks for having us out here. Hi, thanks for coming. It's been a blast. This place is so cool. So tell us a little bit about you all. You've been around for 15 years? 15 years, okay. started by Paul and Karen, um, and then a group of local artists and community members purchased it from them to keep it going. And so now it's run by volunteers and we just want to keep glass in Austin. 
So this is fused glass. There's yes. a few different ways to use glass, right? So there's everybody knows stained glass. Yeah. Everybody knows blown glass. We do fused glass. Okay. So that uses heat to fuse the glass together to become one. And but it's all done in a kiln, so you don't have to get hot, which is lovely. Very cool. Okay, so what are they working on here? We are helping Diane Sonnenberg with a mosaic mural that she's doing for Herman Memorial. A hospital in Houston. Mm -hmm. It's going to open in August. We are creating the glass fish that are going to be used in the mural. Um, it'll be about 72 square feet once it's finished. Oh wow. This is a large project we're working on. We're kind of have all hands on deck. And so you're working on like the just the little details. And yes. right now you're like matching colors? Yes. Yeah, so okay. Jenny here is matching colors on a hermit crab to an actual hermit crab because we've been working with a marine biologist to make sure that we're representing actual local fish in uh, along one of the Texas reefs. Very cool. Okay, so this is fish these and other are people who are they know what they're doing. But you all actually teach classes too. We do. Everybody from beginners to intermediate to established artists are welcome here. Okay. This is a, our Fusing with Friends class. Um, one of these was actually created by an eight-year-old and his mom. Wow. They come in, we teach you everything you need to know. It's just two hours and it's a great way to get started. What age would you say is like an, an okay starting age? Is eight about the... Eight to eighty. And Easy. everywhere in, in between. I love it. Okay, so are these people that have kind of done it for a while? Is this something you could create on your first try? Uh, these are all these are all first tries. Uh, this is one of our an artist who's been coming and taking a few classes, and yeah. her husband wanted to come and see what she's been spending all her time doing. Yes. So it was a great date night. The two of them came in, see, and that's not, it sounds like a very fun date night. Was, that's very cool. Fun. Okay, and we should show everybody what I did. How simple it is. And how, and how. Look at this. Okay, I did this right here, which I was pretty proud of. But this is just one of the steps. There's another step. Let's take it back. You mentioned the kiln. Yes. So, so that's back this way. Once you have created a piece, it goes into the kiln room. Okay. We have nine kilns, and we have some artists who have home studios and have limited space, so they'll come in and rent our kilns Okay. Um, and rent some of our larger equipment. But this will go in here, and it will fuse. There go my fish to different temperatures, and then after it's fused, we will uh, fuse it again and slump it into whatever shape you can choose, and we have lots of things. Okay. And then you will end up with... The big reveal. Something like these projects. That is so cool. Okay, so, uh, reminder, they do have classes. If people want to find out a little bit more about you all, where should they go? You can go to www.heliosglass.com. We have all of our classes and events on there, and it is That'll lead you to our Facebook pages, and we're all pretty active. Or come and swing by anytime. It's really cool. Yeah, you should stop by. We'll have all that information at kview.com. Thank you so much. Thank you. Please don't forget to support local. Okay. Bye. Let me introduce you to Casey. Casey, this place is wonderful. Yeah, so, thank you. how did you all get started? Well, my husband comes from a long line of ranchers uh, out west Texas, and so we thought we'd do something a little different than the ranching, and we decided to do something we knew, which was ranch wear, and here we are, and we've been in it forever. That's all I know. We don't know anything different, but we're loving it. I'm okay, with it. so if I back up, obviously yes. there's western wear. There's going to be boots. And one thing that makes you all special is you actually measure people's we feet. We measure and we have options for the people when we find those sizes. So just, okay, because, so you're not we, just, <laughs> just because we tell you what size, we do have options. So, so we'll, we we'll work them. our way back here. Okay. Uh, I didn't know that there was a difference between measuring for boots and things and also as we go along this I'm gonna look more and more western <laughs> because that's we're where we're at. We're gonna get you country fat girlfriend. Thank you so much. I'm <laughs> very much a city kid but we're gonna try it out today. So Step up to the to the, the, the palace over here. The, so this is where people go throne. to get their feet measured. Yes. They get to go on the stage. The stage. I and we love use it. a fan handy dandy Brannix device. Okay. Which we've already pre-measured Miss Brittany. Yes and we have. We do figure out with the Brannix device with the, uh, her metatorsal joint and everything we have determined she is a hair wearing a little wrong. We're a nine, two, eight, and we do have a boot. This is a Cayman alligator handmade boot. So, so I've been wearing the wrong size shoes, well, probably. Yeah, maybe just a little. Or a bit. boot's different from other shoes. Just a hair, but not much. Okay, but, but so it's I'm the width that, that is the big, the big thing we want to make and sure. And what type of boots? Are nice these? and snug. This is a Cayman alligator, an oil tan Cayman alligator. It's handmade. Um, so she she's ready to go dancing now, guys. She got her boots, scooting boots on. Oh gosh. Hold okay. As you come down, that leather <laughs> slick. Well, then, and walking in boots is, is a little bit different. Yeah, you so the other thing on. that you all have, 
hats. Yes. And you all steam hats, we do which I didn't them, know crowns, was a trim thing. the brim, whatever. Todd is a master in disguise and a jack of all trades. Yes, so tell us who this is right here. This would be my husband for many, many years, 25 plus years. So he's still here um, and going after it. Um, that's the guy that's in good hands. He can do it all. So he's been doing hats for over 30 years and he can do whatever you need to shape to it wise. Okay, see, I didn't know that hat shaping was a thing. It is an art, and I don't have that art because it is meticulous. It is down to the science of measuring off of your eyes to make sure that you get the right shape. Um, that's not my gift, but that is definitely his gift. <laughs> okay, so we have about 30 seconds left. So as he does this, will you tell everybody where they can find you? Yes. We are in Marble Falls in the Hill Country. Blairswesternwear.com is our website, and we are here Monday through Saturday. Come shop. Come have fun. This is very cool. Um, how long does this does this process? It, we obviously don't have time to see the entire process, but how long does it usually take? I saw a gentleman depends come in on earlier. how much you want done to it. Whether you okay. want it, you know, if you want a crazy shape or you just need a little twitch or a twink or whatever he can do, anything you want, change the brim. Um, felt hats, you've got more things that they can do to it. But if you want to, can I put it on? Yes, go for it and show the show the folks the full outfit. Is it on right? Yes. Listen, I've Rock it, never girl. worn boots. I've never worn hats. But look <laughs> at me now. This is all at Blair's Western Wear. Thank you so much Thank for this. Thank you. This was so this fun. This is great. Well, we have enjoyed showing you some places to support. We've also had a lot of fun along the way. Here's a look at some of our bloopers. Brittany, you're sitting. I expected you to be up cutting somebody's hair. Was no one brave enough in there to give you a pair of scissors? <laughs> Ashley, um, if you want to come meet me here, I'll cut your hair. I don't think I'll you can cut curly minutes. hair. It's a very, it's hard to cut curly hair. Uh, you should just stick with somebody who has straight hair. I think your photographer, Andrew Sanchez, has straight hair. He could let you uh, experiment on him. That, yeah, okay. <laughs> I, would be, I would be really good. Ashley, Brian, come on. You be we careful, We thought that Brittany. if I ever went to the circus and joined the circus, I will be a clown or a ticket taker, <laughs> but look at me now. But look at you, you're an aerialist. That's okay. fantastic. I would break so many bones, I but just, it looks so fun. It, it does look so fun. fun. I, Brittany, I thought you were going to aim for the uh, ginger, you know, thing where you just if spin you around on the, on the, on uh, the. All the blood's rushing, <laughs> rushing to her head. Don't yeah. pass I out, Brittany. Don't forget it out. Here, I'm going to give you a little hand. <laughs> No, don't I spin her around. Red is my face turning red? No, you look great. Well, you can't really tell with a mask on, <laughs> but sure. This is terrifying. Really I feel good. like, I, wait, I feel like I no okay. longer support this. Well, Brittany, get you down. Did it. Okay. Very nice, though. Very well done. And Ashley, Brian, one of the shows that they have is called Parallelogrammophonograph, and I just wanted to let you know that that's one of their popular shows, and I want you to say Parallelogrammophonograph. That's light work. Parallelogram. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Phonograph. That's it. She nailed it. Nailed and so, it. But, but the, mm -hmm. you know, obviously I can't say it as quickly as you because you're caffeinated. <laughs> Who is shaking? Is Andrew Sanchez shaking his head, shaking his camera? No, that I did not say it. Uh-huh. Don't you do that, Andrew Brittany, say it again. Parallelogram of phonograph. Yep. Parallelogram of phonograph. Close. Don't do me. I got this. <laughs> Close. Nod your head, Andrew. Okay, there we go. Uh, that's a great spot. Brittany, great job. That's a wrap on our Keep Austin Local special. But truly, we just scratched the surface of the amazing places that you can support. To see a longer list, you can go to kview.com. And if you think that there's a place that we should go and visit, just reach out to us. And don't forget to support local. How do we make Austin better? Incredible support. See what a beautiful community it is. We all need as much help as we can get. We keep it local. It's wine glass. Isn't it so perfect? Pretty good. This place is huge. He's working hard back there. This is wild. Every week on KVU, we're featuring the businesses and people that make this place special. All scratch and maybe love. Texas home cooking. If you miss our story. Oh, man. No sweat. You can see the places we've featured on KVU.com. We're here to serve you. We're still here. People want to keep us around. We're really grateful for that. Be sure to support local business and check out Keep Austin Local on KVU.